recorded this next song. Whoa! Oh, yeah. During that time, excuse me, we recorded that this next song 13 different times. I'm not talking about different mixes. I'm talking about 13 different times we went into the studio and recorded it. We wanted to get it right. I guess. So. So this one, we made a video of it in uh, 1984, and uh, see the thing is every time we did it, each of the 13 times, we did a slightly different version. So we're going to try and remember it. Now, when Ember Swift was singing in Mandarin earlier, I could relate because I don't remember all the words to the song, and you're going to hear, you're going to hear some, my version of Mandarin as I try and... I, and I really, and they don't exist on the internet because the jitters were sort of under the radar, man. We were cool. We were too hip for the internet. And, I mean, that's what I tell myself. And um, so, uh, so I couldn't even look up, I couldn't Google my own words, which is really annoying. Anyway. Okay, so here we go. This one is called Take Me As I Am. How does it start? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, okay.
I don't know if I can play anymore. Um, I think in the, in the early days of the Jitters, we were together 10 years, but we only put out two records. And uh, so we were together for about six years before we put out any recordings at all. And uh, by the time we did, it didn't really represent what we had originally thought. Fuck no! Exactly. <laughs> David, who was in the band really that, early, but by, by, by the time we made our, our debut record, David was in law school at uh, University of Western Ontario. He never really heard the record after that, except on the radio. And, he, and, and so he said to me just last week, he said, what the fuck is this about the record? He said, what happened? I thought we were cool. So, oh yeah, what happened, man, is... They took all the fucking balls away, right? <laughs> Detergent, sanitized, the whole This is the way the band was supposed to sound. Not this bad, but kind of like this. Yeah, but we got rich, man, so right. there you go. That's right. We got... We did? We got rich. Okay, so we, okay, so we didn't get rich, but we stayed true to our... No, no, we didn't do that. Let's see. We got a lot of cool guitars. We got me. We got, we got yeah. So but the point I wanted to make was, in the beginning in the, of the band, we did a lot of songs that were uh, what we would describe. How did you describe You, you couldn't uh, afford this wooden bench to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In the early days of the band, we couldn't afford that wooden bench. No, but Danny, how did you describe the songs? You, they you always, run, 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 run. All our songs did that. Do it again, please, Danny. I'm sorry. Run, 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 run. That's how our songs went, and we liked it that way. That's right. And then a record company stepped in and said, well, we'll sign you, but you can't do the Ran and Anna songs anymore. But why did you sign that? Yeah, but, I, but after six years of being together and not making any money, we sort of thought, well, okay, sure, we'll sign. You know, where do you want us to sign? So now, though, we'd like to go back and revisit those... those Ran and Anna songs. And in fact, I'd like to ask Danny to sing this one.
Thanks for talking. I just want to say we were trying to capture that authentic sound so we didn't use the tuner before we went out. It's so, you know, 2000. <laughs> Okay, that was just an appetizer. The jitters will be back, but at Blair's age, advanced age, he does need a rest between songs, so we're going to give a chance to go back get some cake, have some sugar, get his energy back up, and the jitters will be back. But I would like to bring our next act up. Uh,